Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, the HD version running on the Wii U, released by Nintendo in 2013. I got this as a free download code when I bought Mario Kart 8, so what a bargain and awesome thing Nintendo did. Original game came out in 2002 in Japan, 2003 North America and Europe, and it's to this date my favourite, favourite Zelda game. I loved this game, I loved it more so than any of the Zelda games. I know a lot of people were fearful of this game when they originally announced it for the Dolphin, which is obviously what the GameCube uh, was going to you know, well, was gonna be named originally, and they didn't like the fact that it was going to be self shaded they thought it would make it too kiddie and stuff. Obviously when it came out, it came out to great, great, you know, critical acclaim and great success. Uh, I do remember though seeing the commercials and being kind of a little um, sceptical about it and then when I actually bought it uh, you know, on the, the GameCube it just absolutely blew me away and I don't know what it was but I was more in love with this version of the game or Zelda game than any other one, right? Now obviously there are a number of changes to the way you explore in your inventory if you play it with the Wii U gamepad which is brilliant. Um, this isn't really a gameplay, I just want to show a little bit of it to you and it's right at the start um, because it looks so utterly, utterly incredible. That's not to say the original version of the GameCube wasn't a looker, but this in HD is really, really, there's no beer goggles needed here. Wii U pad. <clears throat> now I'm incredibly rusty at this game, but like I said, I just want to show you the visuals. So it's going to be a lot of, um, you know, just uh, watching and enjoying it and going through it slowly, you know, through the actual start of the game where, you, well, lots of it is just setting it up. Anyways, it, there's a new. Oh, hang on. Uh, Lawn boy. There's a. The, the, this is what was great about when it first came out, but the, the exploration aspect of the islands and stuff like that, uh, you know, and, and you, you would explore, and it was just. just something, you know, absolutely completely different even though it plays very similar to uh, Ocarina of Time and uh, Majora's Mask but just uh, like the, the the sailing aspect was absolutely brilliant although I know it did piss a lot of people off at the time this is the only thing and I'm not completely complaining about it my god that looks absolutely wonderful I've never been a fan of Zelda when they're on disc based uh, systems which is and I understand why they did it but it's um, and maybe it's just me that gets annoyed with this but it's the the fact that you get text but you get no real vocals you just get mimic 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 mim, like that little weird thing that runs around you know get up you lazy bastard obviously I guess I'm a teenager and it's true to form right well you've got a really oh no I was going to say you've got a really good uh, telescope but I'm actually on the platform but I just find it kind of a little bit cumbersome and laborsome to go through it like that. I understand that you really don't want to give Zelda a voice, I'm sorry, Link a voice as such, but why can't everyone else speak? But maybe that's just a personal pet peeve of mine. But yeah, I think this looks absolutely wonderful. Now I'm pretty sure, doesn't she get nicked by a giant bird? It's been ages. I remember and I really, really regret saving, saving, uh, selling this game because that's the GameCube version that came with Ocarina of time all right come on which uh, i recently played even though i was not a massive fan of it back in the day but my older brother jason rates it as one of the greatest games ever as do a lot of people i played it through entirely on the 3ds and really really enjoyed it but obviously not in 3d because i'm one of the few people who can't use the 3ds and get the 3d i just get a massive headache which is kind of really annoying right so it just just look it's so tranquil and nice look at that look at that nice camera panning around and as I said, this may be, you know, HD version, but it, it just it was just a nice, chilled experience. Don't get me wrong, there's some bastard hard difficult bits in it. But it was just fun. It was just brilliant. Let's look down. Oh, Virgo. Spin around. Right. Like, why would I let go? Well, why not? Oh, I survived. Right. There are two difficulty settings. That's my house, isn't it? Where you can go to just normal, which is this, because I just want to show you a little bit at the start of the game, um, which is purely setting up the story at this point. Or you can go to hard, where you just take far more damage. Right? <clears throat> Look at it. It's just wonderful. There is a sequel, uh, 2007, which is is it on the DS? 
I don't know. Not direct. It's, I forget the name of it, but you know what I mean. I never played it. Alright. You, you want me to cut the grass? That better not be pot, mate, because if you're letting a kid cut your grass, you just clearly set me up to take the blame when the old bill come round. Right, so A is wrong. My inventory is going to be done on my Wii U pad. Oh, there's stuff in there. No, let go. Can I crawl under? No, let go. A is wrong. No. I am rusty. Ow, I was going to leave a mark in the morning. Ow. Right. Run around, run around. I can't be asked to get you. Let's get a sword and cut, cut some weed, or get cut some weed, or grass, or whatever. <clears throat> so, kind of the other purpose I want to talk about this game is, it was, even though it's now upon it's looked back, it's one of the greatest Zelda games ever, but this, this difference they took with the graphics was it was very Marmite at the time. Um, what are your thoughts or experiences about that at the time? Were you really kind of pleasantly surprised about how it, you know, ended up looking or were you just, you didn't want it? Because as I said, I remember lots of gaming magazines were just going on about, no, 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 we do not want this from Zelda. There we go, that's dark. Nice. Right, let's get the rupee. Ah, yeah, because that would stop burglars, wouldn't it? Really? What, burglars? It's like that three-digit pin on the back of a credit card. What, people can't crawl or do that? Sweet. Right. Instead of cutting the weed, let's buy some of it. There we go. That's here. Ah, I get it. That's here. You know, you lock on and shit. Well, no, you, you, you fix the camera. Alright, alright. Hungry? No. Uh, it's cold. Ooh. No one likes cold soup. Unless it's gazpacho. Arnold Rumi didn't like it. So why don't we get any sword? Oh. Wow. Again, it just it just looks wonderful, but you know, what what is your Zelda your, your favourite Zelda game and it's this one of them up there and I, what are your thoughts on this remastered HD version? Was it needed? Uh, is it, you know, because I felt it with this, it was one of those sort of things where they remastered something that it, it, it wasn't just like, well, I really need a sword, don't I? Read. Yeah, it wasn't something that necessarily needed uh, to be remastered, like so many, they did with so many other games like Grand Theft Auto and stuff like that. But, there's no denying, it probably held up better being done so and was clearly more of a labour of love. Right. Where do I get the fucking sword from? Let's go across here. Oh, probably my hands. It sounds like I sound my roids. Oh well, listen to the sound of the ocean. Oh, it makes me want to talk to dolphins and listen to it. Soothe away my day problems when I'm having a bad one. Right. I just saw a wild, wild pig. Alright. So you met my PR manager then. I tell it to crawl uh, slowly up behind it. Alright, you could also distract it with a bait, I guess. Screw that. I'm going for a wander and a look around yonder. Hey, uh, long boy, please press the set out to, uh, right there to use A to talk to me. Try it. There we go. That's correct, you're a smart one. Well, no, you told me to do it. Uh, you, my friend, have just uh, targeted me. You, you can see. Uh, right, right. Well, I'm going to target the variables in your ice, mate. I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> Here we go. I like the fact that no one keeps their front doors locked here. It's like Toronto in the 90s. Oh, alright. Is that a whale? No. Uh, once he gets so old. Dude, back off. It's not my fault. I'm 1975, boy. Right. What were you saying? Speak. Uh, run as fast as you can and press A to form a rolling attack. Try rolling into the wall. Four. There we go. Breaky, breaky, motherfuckers. Alright. Guess I really am a teenager. Say you, you practice skills with a sword. Yes. 
So where's the sword? There we go, got a sword. Sweet! Right, go on. There we go. Uh, very move on. Let's be. Uh, do not fear for my safety. I'm ready for you. Uh, one, press only B. I pressed only B. Press only. No, no. Uh, clearly, you've not seen the layout of my pad. Oh, I got ya. Again, it's been ages. Uh, I press uh, Keep swinging. Yeah, baby. Sorry. Sweet. Shouldn't you be teaching kids how to maim and shit? Right. What were you saying again? Alright. First thing was tilting toward me and pressing B. Right. Okay. Oh, shit. That was my... Uh... Oh, very good thrusting. Thank you. I guess I am swinging. Just hit my computer. I really don't think that was uh, tilting toward me. I don't know oh, I like that. Um, Alright, you're thrust by tilting. Uh, Set up. Alright. Got you right. Target. I give up. <clears throat> I'm just gonna smash your pots and shit, mate. Yeah, how'd you like them apples? That is good enough. Fine. Well, yeah, probably because it's not recognising my motion part controls. Anyway, I'm gonna call it quits there. Nothing particularly amazing about this gameplay. I just wanted to show you, if you've not got the HD version of this, and alright, I am filming my telly, how absolutely wonderful it looks. It does look absolutely fantastic. And uh, I will be definitely completing this. Um, if I can actually, you know, recall or, you know, resurrect the memories deep, very deep in my psyche from how I did it on the GameCube. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.